Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Craig Baker, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at the Keck School of Medicine at USC in Los Angeles, California. Dr. Baker, you and I have known each other for a very long time, over 10 years. It is great to see you here at STS. Great to see you, Adam. Yeah, so we're here. You're just coming from a ROS procedure, wet lab, where you're teaching physicians from all over the world how to do the ROS. And I've got to ask you a question. If I'm a patient and I'm coming to you with aortic valve disease, stenosis or regurgitation, and I'm considering my options, you have now many choices for the patients. Primarily, the choices could be a mechanical valve, a tissue valve, or the Ross procedure. What are the pros and cons, in your opinion, for those three options? Great question, Adam. You know, I think for the patient, when we talk to our patients in clinic, we're not just thinking about the operation they're going to get. We're thinking about that patient's whole life, what their life expectancy is, what their quality of life is going to be. Certainly, if you're 70 or 80 years old, and I can put a tissue valve in you, and I can expect that that's one operation that's gonna last your whole life. That's simple, and it's a great solution. But let's talk about the younger patient. Someone, at least an adult, let's say 20 to 50 years old, that for whatever reason has aortic valve disease that needs to be replaced. You know, simply put, mechanical valves are great options that in the absence of getting infected can potentially last your whole life. But there's a requirement to take some form of anticoagulation every day for the rest of your life. And that is a big commitment and it's got serious risk. And what I often think about and told my patients is, you know, when you're young and healthy, it doesn't seem too onerous. But now let's say you're 60, 70, 80 years old, you got a bad hip, you got a bad knee. Do you really want to have that commitment to have been on anticoagulation your whole life? And oftentimes the answer is no. Well, then the other option traditionally is some type of biologic valve. And as I think the patients know, that's typically porcine or bovine. Those are great because you don't need anticoagulation. But unfortunately, tissue valves, the younger you are, the more they degrade over time. So if I put a tissue valve into a 30 or 40 year old, they're looking at another procedure probably in 15 years, plus or minus. And that may be a percutaneous procedure. It may have to be another open heart procedure. So the nice thing about the Ross procedure is it's your own tissue. And we believe it can be a valve substitute that has the potential to last your entirety of life without anticoagulation and hopefully avoid another procedure at all. Well, as a Ross procedure patient who has gone on to live an extraordinary life after you and your team and Dr. Starnes helped me nearly 20 years ago, I've had no reoperation, no reintervention. I am so thankful that the Ross procedure was a fit for me. Not saying it's a fit for everybody out there, but I can't thank you enough for stressing all the options, the pros and cons, and considering the lifetime management of valve disease in your response to this conversation. So Dr. Baker, on behalf of the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, patients all over the world, thanks so much to you and your team at USC in Los Angeles. Thanks for being with me today. It's really my pleasure, Adam. Thank you. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.